grade 7 students, it's another great day for fun and learning. Welcome to our second quarter science class. This is Teacher Joy from Santa Ana National High School, your teacher broadcaster for Science 7. Today will be a fantastic day as we're going to explore, discover, and learn new exciting things on this lesson. Just a few reminders to all students. First, please settle down comfortably. Second, have yourself focused and ready for our lesson. Third, please prepare your science quarter two, module one, together with your pen and paper for today's activities. Please don't forget to click the notification bell below the screen and hit the subscribe button for more updates. Let's begin with the word search game. Students, are you excited? Good, let's start. Now, search the word on the puzzle shown on your screen and take note of each word that you find until all words listed are found. The words may either be read horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. A minute will be given to you to find those words. Good job, students, if you found those words quickly. If you notice, know those keywords are related to the parts of the human body and its organization, specifically the word cell, which can be observed and studied under a microscope. Yes, you heard it right! Microscope helps us to see tiny things more than what a normal eye can do. Interesting, isn't it? So, let's find out more about microscope. For today's lesson, our topic is anchored on the most essential learning competency given by the Department of Education, which is to identify the parts of the compound microscope and their functions. And these are the learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to first, identify the parts of the compound microscope. Second, Describe the function of each part of the compound microscope. Let's begin our lesson with these cut-out pictures. Turn your modules on what's new, activity one, figure it out. What do you think does this picture looks like if we assemble these pieces together? Yes, you got it right! This picture shows a compound microscope. A compound microscope is a laboratory equipment used to view and study minute objects such as microorganisms. Since there are tiny microorganisms that cannot be seen by our normal eye, scientists was able to come up with one of the greatest inventions in the field of science, and that is the microscope. To better understand how a compound microscope works, Let's further discuss the parts and its functions. Are you ready? Sure. Let's begin with the eyepiece. Eyepiece is a part of the microscope where specimen is viewed. It has a magnification power up to 10 times. Just right below the eyepiece is the body tube. The body tube connects the eyepiece and the objective lenses. Below the body tube is the revolving nose piece. The revolving nose piece holds the objective lenses and allows you to rotate and set the objective lens you wish to use. The next part of the microscope will be more exciting. Attached to the revolving nose piece are the three objective lenses. Yes, yes. The lenses work with the eyepiece for enlarging the sizes of the viewed specimen, and it has three common types. First is the scanning objective. The scanning objective has the lowest magnification of three times to five times. It is used to see the entire specimen. Second is the low power objective. The low power objective or the LPO has a magnification of 5 times, 10 times, 
up to 15 times. It is usually the initial objective lens to be used when viewing a specimen and observe different parts of the specimen. Amazing, right? The third lens is called the high power objective. The high power objective or HPO has the largest magnification of 40 times up to 45 times. If you wish to view a certain part of a specimen into a more detailed view, then this lens is highly recommended to use. The total magnification of the observed specimen is determined by multiplying the magnification of the ocular or eyepiece and the objective lenses. For example, the magnification power of scanning objective lens is four times and the ocular lens or eyepiece is 10 times. The total magnification of the viewed specimen is 40 times, just like what is seen on the picture. If the LPO magnification is 10 times and the ocular is 10 times, the total magnification is 100 times. Under the HPO, the total magnification of the viewed specimen is 400 times. If the magnification power of the HPO is 40 times and the ocular or eyepiece is 10 times. Wow! It sounds really cool, isn't it? Now, let's continue with the other parts of the microscope. Right below the objective lenses is the stage. The stage is where a glass slide containing the specimen is placed. Together with the stage is what we call the stage clip. Stage clip holds the glass slide with the specimen in place. Next is the arm. Arm connects the body tube and the base. Basically, it supports the upper part of the microscope. It is also used in holding the microscope with the support on the base when transferring it from one place to another. On the upper part of the arm are the two adjustment knobs. The first one is the force adjustment knob. It is used for moving up and down the objective lens that is being used to attain an initial focus on the specimen. This makes the scanning of the specimen possible. The smaller knob below the force adjustment knob is the fine adjustment knob. It is used to clearly view the specimen. It is also used to refine the initially scanned specimen. We are almost done with all the parts of the microscope. So, let's continue. Another part of the compound microscope is the inclination joint. The inclination joint is used for tilting the arm of the microscope. It gives you the comfort in viewing the specimen since inclining it will give you a wider reflection of the light on the mirror. Next is the mirror. The mirror reflects the surrounding light that will be directed to the specimen. On top of the mirror is what we call the diaphragm. Diaphragm is used to regulate the amount of light that reaches the specimen. Lastly is the base. The base is the bottom part of the microscope. It supports the entire weight of the microscope. And that's all for the parts and functions of a compound microscope. Wow! What a great information we had today, students! To check if you've understood our lesson, let's have a mind exercise through this next activity. Are you ready? On your module under Once More Activity 2, page 8, let's label the different parts of the compound microscope. I'll give you a minute to do the activity. Great! Well done, students! Let's have another activity. Turn your quarter to module 1 on page 16, activity 3, Matching with you. In this activity, 
you are going to identify the function of the different parts of a compound microscope by simply matching the parts of the compound microscope in column A with the functions found in column B. Just write the letter corresponding the correct answer for each item on the box provided to form the mystery words in the pattern. Take note, some answers could be repeated. Let's begin. Did you find the answers correctly? Good! Can you tell me what is the statement form after finding out the correct answer? Very good! It's for great viewing. This time, let us sum up our lesson. Let's gather together all that we have learned today.